One of the things I really took away was to practice in no man's land because we never do it. Never but is it really no there. man's land? Yeah, right. It's a transition land. Yeah. We're at one line or the other. We never practice from there. Every time I drill, I practice from the midcourt or transition zone. There you have it. So for us, it's a big part of our game. And the better you get and the better you want to get, you better work on that. Do I just run forward when my partner is hitting? Remember, not always. And sometimes very seldom because of the fact that if your partner is struggling with their third shot drops, are you just going to go? What if the return is really tough and your third shot drop or your drive is, is bad? What are you going to do? What I'm going to do is start to go forward. I'm going to watch as she's hitting she may speak to me she may not I love to talk I'm a talker but I will sometimes watch if, I, if she's hitting she's not talking to me I'm watching every single movement once that ball start to travel I'm going to move and start to travel with the ball if it looks good I'm in if it looks okay I stay put and if she tells me watch it <laughs> then you come back I come back. Okay. That's why I don't like to tell you like no, because then people stay here. I'm not staying here. I'm going to go forward a little bit, check it out. Oh, she's looking good. Now we're gonna go. What if we got a really good serve and our opponents are in trouble, meaning that they are late for the party. They're coming in a little rushed. Yeah. Lena gets a short yeah. ball that she's going to attack. Drive. Where do you think I'm gonna go? Rush it. She's going to drive that ball at their feet. Yeah. So I'm going to look to then be aggressive on the next one. So that's why it's not just about her, it's a combo as well. If I see them in trouble over there, opportunity for us to score.